Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Catching Up. I'm your host, Jack Smith, joined today by senior Alex Peterson from the men's lacrosse team. Thanks for coming and catching up with us, Alex. Yeah, thank you. Um, so one thing I was surprised to hear when, when researching and going through is that you picked up lacrosse and very early, I believe, was it five months after uh, made varsity lacrosse? Um, so I just want to know, starting off, what went into your decision to pick up lacrosse during your sophomore year? <laughs> um, freshman year, I was just told by a few friends that I do pretty decent at it just starting out. And I knew I had the speed and I, I knew I had the athleticism to, to play a sport like lacrosse. So I decided and uh, and Fabi came up to me and just asked me, hey, hey, would you play lacrosse? And I, I was thinking about it for a while and I thought, you know what? People are telling me I should play. He's asked me to play. Why don't I just try it out and see what happens? And then, you know, how would you describe the learning process? Obviously, it seemed like you wanted to do it. Did it go smoothly or was it kind of more of a learning curve? Um, for sure, a learning curve because, I mean, it seems simple, like cradling itself. It's it's just moving the stick back and forth, cradling the ball, but it's actually a lot harder than it seems, especially starting out. You just, you don't understand until you try it for yourself. What were some of the things that you struggled with at the beginning? Um, honestly, just like cradling, like I said, um, shooting wise was, it wasn't too different because uh, from hockey, I used to play hockey a lot. I still do not every now and then. And it's has the same kind of technique but there's there's a little like obviously hockey the stick is on the ground it's on the ice and mm -hmm. when you're playing lacrosse it's it's and you're taking it and you're swinging it forward right so it's a little different and I'm sure your track background helped uh how were you able to utilize your speed uh because you said you had that as a factor how were you able to utilize that when you were starting to learn and starting to compete right well one of the things for me was that we had to use, we had, I had to learn how to use my speed and just like, I had to learn how to slow down and then speed up. And it wasn't just because usually with track, you're going from point A to point B as fast as you can lacrosse. You're trying to dodge, you're trying to slow it down and then speed up and then maybe slow down again and then speed up. So it's a lot different in that way. And then obviously you said you had some friends in the, the midi lacrosse program and coach baby wanted you to be there, but how were you able to acclimate uh, into a program that you were just joining? Um, honestly, just trying to be like, take the time to learn and like stay after practice learning and just doing whatever I can to um, have some chemistry with the team. And then, like I said before, you were, you were recognized and made varsity uh, shortly after picking it up. Were you surprised by your early success and recognition? <laughs> I mean, I was, I would say I was surprised. I really, I strived to like try to make it to varsity my first year. Um, that was one of my main goals. So I kind of felt like I would probably at one point make it, but the, at the time that I did, I did not think they'd be so soon. Um, and then going into your first season, obviously you made varsity. How would you quantify the season? Do you think you played well? Are there things that you maybe needed to work on going into your second season? How would you quantify it in total? Right. Um, a lot of the time it was really hard for me because it's just a totally new sport. I'm playing with people that like, they're, like against people who are seniors, right? I'm just a sophomore. I've never played in my life and it's my first year. I've barely had a time to understand the game fully. So to play against people who have been playing the, playing the game for years of their life, it's just, it's really hard to, to play like that. And what kicked it into gear for you to, to enable yourself to kind of get past that? Um, honestly, it was just doing whatever I can to understand the game. So watching film with Coach Baby or um, taking time after practice to, um, to go ahead and shoot and learn the techniques and stuff like that was really just helping me understand the game and get better. I'm not sure a lot of people know a ton about lacrosse and, and you're talking about shooting. What position exactly do you play? And would you be willing to describe that position to, to, to the audience? Yeah. Um, I play attackman before attackman. I played uh, midi midfielder, um, but attackman, basically you're on the offensive side of the field, the whole game, or as long as you're in the game and you're basically just trying to score the goals, right? Like you're not like the defenseman on the other side of the field. They're on that side of the field the whole time. And, they're the ones defending, but me, it's the other way around, trying to defeat, def to go against the defenseman. 
is it a lot like soccer in that in that aspect um it, there's a lot of qualities that are similar i would say for sure i mean we talked about your first season and moving into to the season last year your junior season it got cut short early and i just want to know what was your initial reaction when you found out that your season was most likely canceled uh it was horrible honestly because the summer before uh last year we uh, a lot of us on the team had went to a club team we played a bunch of tournaments um and worked really hard for the season that came and then it got canceled and it was just like all that work we put in just went to waste almost and and how were you able to respond to that what was your first step um obviously it was a horrible feeling but what was your first step to bounce back from that it was just deciding that we couldn't just let that happen we had to we had to keep working we had to keep doing what we did so that we could come back in this year and play to the best of our ability and what kind of work was that what were you able to get done this offseason I know it was an offseason of turbulence as I think I coined it in the last episode how were you able to put in that work this offseason right so Fabi would have us do zoom practices um when the season first started like first just got uh canceled he had us like during lunch, we would do um, practices on Zoom. We would set up our camera and show him our goal. And we would just, he would just tell us what the drills to do. And that was it. And then from there, we had a few practices at school. Um, that was for like two weeks. And we just got to be with each other for a little bit until that was stopped just because of COVID. What were you able to do after it was stopped? Uh, were you able to kind of put in work on your own, maybe get to some tournaments? Was there anything you were able to do? Right. During the summer, I had a showcase. And for that, Fabi helped me a little bit with that. He had a few practices, just me, just making sure I was ready for that. Okay. And then what is your goal? Like moving forward uh, in lacrosse, is it something you want to pursue in college? Is it something that you want to, that you see a future in? Right. I do want to go to college for it would be great to have, have that opportunity it's just it's a sport that I believe th that I love and it um is something I want to be able to have for the rest of my life and what steps do you think you can put in place this season uh, where do you want to be this season and able to or in order to enable yourself to get to that future right um I just it would be just putting in the work even though we're only um together for two for twice a week for practices right now I think it's just taking the steps to um to put in the work and get and even though we might be a little rusty just because we haven't played in a long time we have to just do whatever we can and get better the last question I want to ask you kind of goes on to those on-campus sessions um, being a senior uh, and being someone who who loves the sport and takes it very seriously, what have you been able to accomplish as a senior during these on-campus workouts and how are they going for you guys as a team and for you personally? I think for me, it's really just helpful to be able to be with the team after such a long time without them and um, being able to just get off Zoom, right? And and just have a time to just, to just use my body because it's been sitting on on a chair for the past month, right? So, yeah. And uh, before we wrap this up, we ask everyone the same question. Is there anything you want to touch on, anybody you want to talk about before we wrap this episode up? Yeah, I would say just talking to the younger guys, the guys who have just started the fresh, I've watching the freshmen before my practice, they're just, they've either just started out or they don't have much experience. And I just want to say, keep going because you don't know where you're going to end up. I honestly, for me, obviously I started my sophomore year just out of nowhere and now I'm a senior and I love this sport. So just keep playing and do what you do. Yeah, I think you're a great story and a true representation of, you know, just being in the right place at the right time and finding something because you never know where you're going to find it. And I think that's, it's great you're trying to apply that to the young uh, players. But I want to thank you for coming on uh, and telling us your story. Uh, and thanks for catching up with us, Alex. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.